Um, it was about a year ago in November, um, and I kept asking Jared, you know, what do you want for Christmas? I need a Christmas list. Um, and he just kept kind of blowing me off um, and ignoring me. Um, and finally, I told him, I was like, you need to tell me what you want for Christmas, um, or you're going to end up getting socks and underwear. Um, and finally, he said that um, he didn't think it was fair that he was going to get a bunch of stuff for Christmas, and a lot of um, his friends from the Dream Center might not get anything at all. We were coming home from the dreamy spoon and we were driving back to the house and she was talking about socks and underwear and a final title around for Christmas and then something happened like something in my heart and my head was telling me donate to the dream center and when I, when I was thinking before that happened I was thinking of a, a, some of my friends from the dream center and that's what popped into my head. I told her and she was like, okay, let's get this done. So I talked to Kristen Fagley, told her um, what was weighing on Jared's heart. Um, she said that's totally something they could do. Um, just set him up a, a website um, through them that people could just donate through. Um, then we, uh, I got my phone out and just did a video of him, posted it to Facebook. Well, his, originally his goal was $500. Um, within about two days of having um, the link posted and shared on Facebook, uh, we met the goal um, of 500 and I think it was about after three or four days, um, we'd reached $825. I was ecstatic. I was overjoyed and I felt a warm feeling that I did good. It really showed me how much people want to give um, and they want to do for other people. I just, you know, I saw names of people that donated that people I didn't even know. Um, so I just thought that was amazing that people were just, you know, pouring out, you know, love to kids at the Dream Center, kids that they don't know.